relationships with the originals, and you can't not have relationships with um, the guests in your house. Mm -hmm. you know, my entire house is New Orleans. I must, you know, keep tabs on on, on everybody. Are we doing a lot of flashbacks to kind of see some of what was going on before, when you know, the time that Klaus was gone from New Orleans to see like how Marcel built up the city to what it was? Yeah, yeah, and I think that's one of the great things about Vampire Diaries. Like one of my favorite episodes is the flashback to Chicago. Like beautifully done, so cool, um, and it's a great, it's a great tool, and so we're gonna take advantage of that. Who would you say at this point is like the best match for Klaus in terms, or sorry, for Marcel in terms of come whether it's someone in the city already or Klaus coming back in could potentially dethrone him. Somebody that Marcel's been working this whole time to control because oh. he maybe is wary of or worried I about. Mean, it, I think you know you're right. It, this is just me speaking. Not yeah. That's your storyline. No, but, yeah. You know, keep your your friends close and your enemies close to that. Um, I think of it like Scarface. You know, like yeah. There's many betrayals, but he felt like the one who betrayed him the most was was uh, uh, Manny, right? Manny. His From friend, yeah, yeah, okay. His sister or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's those who are closest to you. So if it's yeah. Klaus. I mean, it could be the inner circle. Okay. Um, and again, you're gonna see relationships develop, so you don't know um, who else Marcel confides in, mm -hmm. that, you know, so I think that's the thing with that many people close to you, any one of them could try to go for the throne. Okay. You know? So, this is a very different show, obviously, from the other show I covered you on, Switch to Birth. Mm -hmm. When you were, Pilot Season comes around, and you're looking, obviously you know of the Vampire Diaries, and you know the kind of show, and the kind of audience it attracts, was that automatically the selling point for the originals? What? Like for me to do it? Yeah. Ah, uh, no. Um, it was just the character. Okay. When I read the first lines of his introduction, and how he's like got that swagger, mm -hmm. how he winks at the, the girls in the crowd, for me it was just fun to play. Okay. Bonus is that it's it's on the CW and it has mm -hmm. a, a worldwide audience and also the target demographic. And then the style, mm -hmm. you know, how cool it is, and then I'm working with my friends. Right, well that helps. <laughs> yeah, you know, like... Uh, it, it, it's better than I, I could have dreamed, you know. Mm -hmm. I could I could have dreamed it up any better. So. Okay. So going forward in the episodes, um, uh, episode two, I feel like it, Joseph and I were talking about how it's kind of the pilot, but from a different perspective. Yeah. Are we are we getting a sense of then a future episode might be similar in the sense, but from your perspective? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in I think I, I hope so. I mean, because I think it's brilliant storytelling. Yeah. You know, because you as the audience see it through one character's um, set of eyes, and then so you think you know. Right. And I think just like in life, you think you know until right. you get the other side of the story. And so I think that's something for people to watch and think about mm -hmm. while watching, you know, to make you really pay attention. Do you feel like seeing something from, from Marcel's perspective would make people understand him better and like him more, or just understand him better? Because sometimes you see um, what people, you know, you see what goes through their heads and you're like, oh, you're nuts. No, no. <laughs> oh. oh, I think, you know, that's for the individual okay. watching to decide. But, but I, you, I mean, you're, you're living with the character. Like, I you get him. You yeah. understand him. You think he's redeemable and, and not completely doing things the wrong way. I think he's a great guy. Yeah, I okay. I he's a stand-up guy, you know? <laughs> stand-up might be a little strong. He's still a vampire. <laughs> you know? Lady should want to bring him home and introduce him to the parents. Hey, this is Marcel. He's king of New Orleans. He's got a great job. Nice house. True. <laughs> as long as you're not a witch, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, that's one of the things that I don't see him as a bad guy, and I think yeah. because I, I understand him. And as a as an audience member, I think that's a great thing about watching these characters is uh, you can't really pass judgment because you're going to identify with right. all of them. Um, so I hope they like him because in turn they'll probably like more aspects about themselves in nice. a Dr. Phil kind of way. Okay, nice. <laughs>